In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble your YD25 engine from this to this. Make sure the two dowels are fitted in the block. Turn the crank so that the crank woodruff keys are pointing at three o'clock. Install the head gasket. Install the head. Grease under the head of the head bolt and on the threads and install into the outer head bolt holes. Remove the cam caps. Start from the outside and work your way in and make sure you undo it so that the cams come out evenly. If you undo one side too much and then they bend, you'll snap the cams. Install the remaining head bolts. Torque the head bolts. The first sequence is 44 newton meters. Make sure you do that one twice because the ones in the center will be loose once you go again. So 44 newton meters, then do them all 90 degrees, then you do them another 90 degrees, and then you undo them all from the outside in, reverse order of how you torqued them, and then redo that process again of the 44 newton meters, and then the 90 degrees, and another 90 degrees. Reinstall the cams and cam caps. Tighten it from the inside and work your way out. Uh, make sure you tighten it down nice and evenly. If you don't tighten it down evenly, you'll snap a cam and torque them to 13 newton meters. Clean the paint off these four bolt holes. Install the L bracket. These are the four bolts you'll need. The two longer bolts go here and here, and the shorter ones go there and there. Cool. Torque the four bolts to 55 newton meters. Clean the paint off the block around here and here. Install the four red O-rings, two small and two big ones. Put silicon on the rear timing cover around that section there, around that little circle, and on this top section. Be careful of that little groove in there. That's for if you have too much silicon on that outer section, it'll squish into that groove instead of going all the way and blocking that top tensioner oil feed right there. If you block that top tensioner oil feed, the top tensioner will rattle. Line the rear timing cover up with the two dowels. Then tap it on with a copper hammer. Keep an eye on where those O-rings are because they can pop off while you're tapping it on. These are the bolts you'll need for the rear timing cover. So we've got three long ones, two of these ones, seven of these medium length ones, and 10 of these small ones. Install the three long ones in these holes. Install these two bolts in these holes. Install the small bolts, two in the top here, six, in all of these holes and two in the bottom corners here and here on the outside of the rear timing cover. Use this yeah. length bolt for the remaining holes there, 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 and the two here. Torque the rear timing cover bolts to 13 newton meters. Before you install the vacuum pump, make sure you watch our vacuum pump rebuild video. The vacuum pump bearing can occasionally go bad. Install the red O-ring on the vacuum pump. Install the vacuum pump using these three bolts. Torque the vacuum pump bolts to 17 newton meters. Install the fuel pump O-ring. Grease the O-ring and grease the inside the old bracket where the fuel pump goes. Install the fuel pump. And then bolt it in from the front with the two e-torques. Torque the two e-torques to 32 newton meters. Lock the fuel pump. Then undo the T70 and remove it. Install the fuel pump boss puller tool. This one already has a brand new fuel pump seal, so we're not gonna replace it. But if you are gonna replace it, you could use a big spanner like this and get under it to get the old one out. And then you can use the seal tool, pay attention to the way the seal is on there so that you get it on the right way. And then you tap it in with a copper hammer to put in the new one and you make sure you put grease on the inside of it. 
put some grease on the fuel pump thread, install the fuel pump boss, reinstall the fuel pump lock and pin, put a little bit of silicon around the fuel pump nut, install the fuel pump nut, torque it to 90 newton meters. Install the cam sprockets, put grease on the thread of the bolt and under the head of the bolt, and line up the cam sprocket with the dowel on the camshaft. To tighten up the cam bolts, you need a big shifting spanner with good flats, and you need to get the flat of the cam lobe to rest against the flat of the shifting spanner, and then you tighten up the cam bolt to 144 newton meters. Turn the cam sprocket so that the dots on the sprockets line up with the dots on the rear timing cover at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Install the vacuum pump sprocket, the black flat washer, the spring washer, put some Loctite on the threads and the nut and tighten it up to 55 newton meters. Install the fuel pump shim. Install the fuel pump sprocket and two screws. Use a straight edge and check the sprocket alignment between the fuel pump sprocket and the vacuum pump sprocket. This one's straight with the 1.15 mil shim. If your one is out of alignment, use one of the other shims in the shim kit to get it straight. Make sure when you check it as well, spin it around a couple spots because it can have a little bit of run out in the fuel pump. Remove the fuel pump sprocket. Turn the crank woodruff key to 12 o'clock. Put some grease on the crankshaft. Install the crank sprocket with a copper hammer. You want to tap it on so it just gets started on that second woodruff key. Once you get to this point, you'll need a piece of pipe. Put the chain on the fuel pump sprocket, line the blue link up with the dot on the sprocket. Line the yellow link up with the line on the crank sprocket. Hold the chain up from that bolt here. Then tap the crank sprocket on with the copper hammer. Install the fuel pump washer and the four bolts. Make sure the fuel pump locking pin is in properly, then torque up the bolts to 40 newton meters. Bottom guide, it has a two piece bolt. Bush section comes in from the back. And you slip it in. Torque it to 23 newton meters. Install the bottom tensioner. Torque the bolts to 10 newton meters. Install the guides. This engine has been balanced and the balance shaft removed. There's been a grub screw put in the balance shaft oil feed. So instead of the crank helical gear put on the crank spacer collar. Install the red o-ring. Final check on the bottom section. Dot lined up with the blue link. Bolts are all torqued. Vacuum pump's been torqued. That's been torqued. That's been torqued. This lines up. All the guides are in it, o-rings in it. That's all good, so now you can pull out the tensioner pin. Remove the fuel pump pin. Install the top chain. The two blue links go on the dots of the cam sprockets. Yellow link goes on the dot of the fuel pump sprocket. Install the top guide. 
that's a top guide bolt. Install the steel backed guide using these two bolts. Install top tensioner fail safe. Pull the pin out of the tensioner. Pull the plunger out. Put the fail safe in. Tapered side down. Then put the plunger back into the tensioner. Install the top tensioner. Put the top screw in first. A couple threads. Then twist the tensioner around to get in the bottom screw. Torque the bolts to 10 Nm. Tighten up the guide bolts to 23 Nm. Final mm. check on the top, chain links match with the sprockets. Guide bolts are torqued. Tensioner bolts torqued. So that's all good. For the oil pump you'll need two of these long bolts one of these medium length bolts and eight of these small bolts. Apply silicon to the oil pump around the outside of it like there and the two circles there and there. Install the oil pump. The two long bolts go here and here. The medium length bolt goes here. The small bolt goes into all the remaining holes. Torque the oil pump bolts to 13 Nm. Put some silicon in the corners of the guide, then install the guide onto the rear timing cover. Install the cam chain cover seal. On this section from here to here, you're going to need to lift up the seal and put some silicon on the underside of the seal. And then put silicon on the corners there and there. Install the cam chain cover. Tighten up the bolts from the center and work your way out and tighten them up to eight newton meters. Install the black O-ring on the oil pump. For the sump, you'll need eight long bolts, seven shorter ones, and two small 10 mil bolts. Before you install the sump, remove the Welsh plugs so you can thoroughly clean the oil galleries. Apply silicon to the sump. Install the sump. Install the Welsh plugs. This is the glue we use. You gotta put some inside of the hole and some on the Welsh plug. And then you tap it in nice and evenly. Install the oil pump lip seal using a nylon hammer. Apply grease to the lip seal. Install the harmonic balancer pulley. You have to line the pulley up with the gears and the woodruff key before you tap it on. Apply grease to the thread and the head of the crank bolt. To tighten up the crank bolt, you'll need uh, something to lock up the crank. We got a harmonic balancer locking bar. And then you need to torque the bolts to 75 newton meters and then an extra 120 degrees. And there you go. That's a YD25 long engine assembled. If you want, you can turn the crank over to revolutions just to make sure no pistons are hitting valves. If you're concerned about how you set up the chains, just make sure to turn it clockwise. But that's it. I'll leave a link to a workshop manual in the comment section. If you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments below.